Alrighty, hello guys, welcome to Faces back to another Stormworks build and rescue video. Today we are going to be building an amphibious vehicle for my World War II amphibious vehicle challenge. Now, what I'm going to be building today is already built. I have actually already built it and it is already working. However, we're going to have a speed build right now and then at the end of the video, we're going to go ahead and test it out. So, uh, let's go ahead and get on with it, shall we? Hey!
And there it is! So, I actually ended up building a small tank. I've got this winch on the front, which is pretty awesome. We got ourselves some lights on the front as well. We've also got ourselves a turret, which has a little light on it as well, which is pretty awesome. And, um, yeah, all, all the way around actually looks pretty cool. I like this tank on the back. I think it looks great. It's just a solid fuel booster thingamabobby uh, with just normal bits on the side, which is pretty awesome. And, um, yeah, so the way onto this thing, you jump up, you grab this, and you just crouch and jump, and then you end up on the top. Um, pretty cool. Um, there is a turret, and obviously on a normal tank, the way in would be through the turret. But in order to do that and have the turret still turning, you, you wouldn't have a sealed hull. So uh, we couldn't really do that. But anyway, that's okay. Let's go ahead and jump in down here. Go ahead and close this behind you as you jump in. And uh, yeah, this is the interior. So what we've got on the inside is stuff to transport the troops. We've got little seats. We got ourselves some thermal clothing on both sides. We got some rope on the roof on both sides. We got some cable right there. We got a hose right there. We got a defibrillator, a defibrillator right there as well, and we got some med kits on both sides. We're going to go ahead and start up the engine real quick. Here we go. Our little generator, which is awesome. Got ourselves some interior lights right there as well, and um, yeah, all the way around is actually pretty cool. We could add more stuff if we wanted to, but um, yeah, wasn't sure. Anyway, let's go ahead and sit in this seat. So, down there we got a gearbox. Down there we've also got another gearbox, uh, and that is for the actual drive tracks. So, if we push forwards... We should start driving forwards, and we go at a speed of like three, which isn't very fast, but um, it's fast enough. <laughs> it's actually really slow, but that's okay. Um, all right, okay. So yeah, the fuel goes down very slowly. The speed is about 3.4, which is awesome, and our battery doesn't actually go down. So yeah, it's diesel electric, which I think is fine. I think it's okay. Um, so yeah, on this side, we've actually got ourselves a turret thing. We've got ourselves a turret light, which is just a little spotlight on the turret. Uh, and we can turn it like 90 degrees to the left and 90 degrees to the right. We can't turn it all the way around, um, but I think that's okay for now. I think that is actually okay. Let's put it back in the center, and uh, we'll get it into the ocean, and I'm sure it'll be fine. If this was a little bit quicker, it would actually be pretty cool. Uh, we've also got these two spotlights on the front, uh, either side of the winch, and um, that's pretty much all the lights on this thing. we got three lights on the inside and three spotlights on the outside, all of them pretty much facing forwards. But I think that's okay. Right, let's turn this off, and um, we'll drive down into the water. Okay, so the way I've actually got the tracks on this thing, they are, like, not in the ideal place. Essentially, you would want the wheels sort of poking out the sides or over the edges. We don't really have that on this thing, but what we do have is it works. <laughs> That's what we have. It actually works, which is pretty awesome. Anyway, we're just going to go ahead and thunder our way down into the water. Um, this is our air supply right here, this, this fluid sensor, fluid port right here, and that's our exhaust obviously on the other side, but we're in the water now, which is pretty awesome. We can stop our tracks, we can start our propellers, which are on the back, and we can actually just drive just like this, which is pretty epic, right? I think this is awesome. Let's go ahead and have a little look on the inside, see our speed. It goes like twice as fast in the water than it does on land, which is crazy, but it totally works, which is awesome. Um, so yeah, we can turn ourselves around and stuff. It seems to be actually pretty stable in normal water. Let's go ahead and increase the, the water to like, or the wind to like 50%. And we'll see if it deals with that. Because I'd imagine it will. Because it's not very like top heavy or anything. I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah, and it sort of is, which is awesome. Anyway, let's go ahead and beach ourselves and uh, drive back up the beach. Because it can totally do it, which is awesome. That's crazy. I was thinking about actually adding like a crane version of this. So you'd take the turret off the top and you'd just put a crane there instead. Um, didn't know whether to do that or not, so I decided not to, but, um, it's pretty cool, right? This is pretty cool. I like it. Um, anyway, I'm gonna actually upload this to the workshop straight away. This is, like, a one video, one build, one upload kind of thing, and I actually really enjoy doing these. This is, of course, for my build challenge, so if you guys want to participate, join my Discord, and, uh, go to the build challenge room, and, uh, build yourself a World War II vehicle. An amphibious World War II vehicle. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you guys in the next one. Goodbye.